In today's video, we're building a workflow that connects Notion, Telegram, and OpenAI, all in one automation using an ATN. Here is what it does. Every morning at 5 a.m., it creates a new journal entry in Notion. Then OpenAI generates a motivational quote, and you receive everything as a message in Telegram, a personalized reminder to start your day with reflection and purpose. Let's start with Notion. So what is happening in Notion? Notion we are using as a database for our daily reflections. I created just a simple page, a database is for any in Notion, and inside this page I have created a database. I called it Data Reflection Database. If you go inside and uh, let's look at it at the table view, you can see that uh, the database is quite simple. It has just the columns for status, where I can select whether it's uh, just empty record, which has just been created, or it's already a completed daily reflection. Then it has a name of daily reflection. Uh, the name is generated automatically with an i10 and it has the date uh, in the name uh, depending on when it was created. And then you have a daily quote. The daily quote is coming from OpenAI and is uh, inserted here by an i10. And you also can have a column on, of date, uh, we, uh, which you can use to sort uh, this data later. So that's, uh, that's about Notion part. Now let's move on to uh, Telegram. So in Telegram, everything is also quite simple. So what I have done, I have created a group called My Morning Reflection. I have added a, a logo into this uh, into this group. This one generated just with uh, with ChatGPT. And what's happening here? In this group, I'm having uh, the following bots. I added a bot which I already created in one of the previous videos, and I added this bot, uh, this one UAI and Reasonable AI Workflow Master A as an admin. It's very important to add the bot as an admin and then add the credentials of this bot to your NA10 instance so that uh, this bot can basically paste the messages with morning reflection link and with a quote from motivational speakers every day at 5 a.m. So once again, uh, private group with the bot as an admin. If you want to know how to do it, how to create a private group and how to connect the bot to NA10, I have a separate video on this channel and the link will be provided somewhere on top and also in the description. And now uh, the last uh, and maybe actually the most important part of this workflow is NA10, NA10 itself. So let's see how the NA10 workflow is, uh, is constructed. First of all, it starts with a trigger and this trigger starts this workflow automatically each day at 5 a.m. So if we open it, you can see that we have selected here the interval uh, of starting its days. I would like to start it every day, so once a day, and uh, it will be triggered at 5 a.m. in the morning. So that when I wake up, I already have a message which uh, has been sent to Telegram, something like this you can see on the screen. So that's the uh, that's how it starts. Yeah. So it, the trigger, uh, the workflow is triggered each day by this trigger here. Then another, like the next node, is uh, getting a database. I would need to get this database uh, first from Notion, and uh, I have also another video on this channel how to connect Notion to any 10 But what is happening here is quite simple. I'm just, uh, once the integration with Notion is set up, you can just add this uh, Notion node, and you can get, uh, create an operation, get database, and you can select the database from list. I just have only one database connecting, connected, daily reflection database. So if you go uh, to Notion, you can see that that's exactly the name of the database, daily reflection database. I don't need to do anything once it's the integration is connected, I just select it from the, from the list here. Uh, when it, this node runs, it gives me back uh, an answer from Notion. Uh, you can see here in JSON format, uh, and it's a simplified format. So that's what Notion is sending to NA10. It sends the name of the database, and what's the most important for us, it sends us the URL of this, uh, of this database. This is important since later, as you can see in the Telegram, we're sending this URL uh, to, the, uh, to the Telegram message. We're actually not sending this URL, but we're sending the URL of the record which is created in this database with this URL. So that's why we're having this Notion node here. Another node is uh, OpenAI. It's, uh, the node here is used to get a random quote. The idea is the following. I would like every day to receive a random quote from one of the motivational authors and speakers. And this quote, um, I haven't created any kind of database with quotes from which it can pick up. I fully rely on, uh, on the training data of uh, OpenAI uh, GPT-4 Turbo model. And I would like to ask uh, to get a random quote. By the way, 
uh, there is again another video on this uh, on this channel one short where i'm describing the problem problem of randomness how to generate actually a random uh, random element uh, by uh, with the chat gpt or with any other lm it's not very simple because actually um, the models are not not generating really random things you should have you should use a type of trick in the prompt to get this uh, randomness but i can show you by the way here how it's done if we're opening the node for uh, open ai we are basically here uh, having all open ai already connected uh, and we are choosing uh, to uh, to basically call the model gpt for turbo i just uh, chose it from the list and in the gpt for turbo i'm just asking the following uh, the following question we can actually click this icon here and we will open the um, open the request in this form. So what I'm saying, I'm uh, I'm saying that I'm asking the model to generate me a random quote from these authors: Jim Rohn, Napoleon Hill, Zig Ziglar, and so on. In order to achieve randomness, because actually when I just started uh, doing this workflow, I asked to generate me a random quote from the authors like Jim Rohn and so on. The problem was that I was always getting the same answer. Uh, I would say in 90% of the cases, it was uh, the most famous Jim Rohn's quote and, uh, and nothing else. It was always the same. So that's not, not what I wanted. And the way to generate a random element uh, from, uh, from OpenAI and other LM models you should introduce a type of randomness into the prompt itself. So what we're asking in this prompt is the following. We're saying, we're asking the model to imagine a list of uh, quotes, most famous quotes from these authors, create a list and then pick up a quote with some random index. And how we uh, create this random index, we're injecting in this uh, curly braces a bit of a JavaScript. And the JavaScript is uh, just, uh, just a JavaScript to generate a random number uh, from zero to 100. And in basically we're saying the following, today's random index is, let's imagine it's number, let's say 37. Based on that number, pick up one quote from a shuffled mental list of impactful motivational quotes. And what LM is doing, it imagines in, let's say, in its memory, uh, all these quotes, let's say 100 quotes, it picks up the quote with the number 37 or any other number which will be uh, provided uh, at the moment when the request is sent to the model. And it gives us back, back an answer. That's the, uh, let's say, that's the result. You can see here, uh, in this particular case, it's asking, it's telling me today's random index is 5, and it will give you the quote number 5 from the, from the, let's say from the list of the quotes it will generate inside its let's say llm imagination or llm memory we will not see it but it will just give us a random thing i tested it it actually works another very important thing i also ask it to give me an output uh, of um, output of this prompt of this request in the format of json i would like to be sure that it puts the quote into the quote field uh, author into the author field and it also may even give me some emoji so one relevant emoji which it thinks is linked to this quote and as a result you can see that uh, that's the answer it's coming in json format and it exactly has these fields which i was asking under the content uh, field it has quote author and emoji so for zig ziglar and for this quote there is emoji of uh, a spaceship next we are using this data which is coming in this uh, format uh, in the json format in uh, notion node and this notion node will go to our notion page and will generate a new report and now let's see how the notion node works so if you go to notion node in the notion node you can see that we are creating a record in the daily reflection database which are selected from here first thing we are doing we are adding a title to this record i would like that the title says that it's daily reflection and it also has in the brackets at least the month and the date how to create it uh, it's actually not very difficult you are you should, in the title field you should choose uh, expression and not fixed so when you are choosing expression you can inject some javascript some fields which will be changing depending on the results of the previous nodes and here since we just need to say which day it is today we can inject a bit of a javascript and this one um, dollar sign today dot format in this format will give you the date in this format like 0721 so it's 21st of july today when i'm recording this video and that's uh, the result it gives me so if you type this expression the result will be daily reflection 0721 and if you go to notion you can see that that's exactly what was created daily reflection 0721 in the name column 
And by the way, this name column, once you create a database, it's actually the first one. It's like this, it's the most important one because here in this name, uh, in, in this first column, you can go to the open and you can open this record. And in this record, you can add a lot of other things. You can basically add your daily reflection and it will be stored here in this record. So other columns do not have uh, this sign for open, but only the first one. I will just move it back because I wanted to have status to the left side here. Then what we are doing in uh, Notion Note, another thing we're changing, I would like to set the date here. You see, there is a date column. I would like to set it to the date of the creation of this record. And to set this date to the creation, you can just inject again, JavaScript dollar sign today. Once you inject it and be sure to choose here expression and not fixed. Uh, with expression, you can inject, inject JavaScript. It will inject the date and uh, Notion will understand that that's the date and it will just change it to this format, July 21, 2025. Another field which I would like to change is the daily quote. Since I received daily quote from OpenAI, I would like to store it in the database. So I'm just saying that I would like in the field daily quote, I would like to store a text of this quote and I would like to slightly reformat this quote, not just store the quote, but store it in the following format. Let's open it here and you can see. So I'm creating with a, in the expression form, I'm just saying that uh, the format should be something like this. First the quote signed, then the uh, then I'll insert content.quote from the message. So what I'm just doing, I'm uh, basically going here uh, to the previous node and previous node has this quote. So I'm just dragging it here. And once I drag it here, I will receive exactly this stuff. Uh, and then I uh, minus, uh, then emoji, and then the author. As a result, you are having uh, this output the quote itself so you don't have to be great to start but you have to start to be great then minus sign the one from here then emoji which is also coming from OpenAI and then the name of the author which is also coming from OpenAI and that's it so uh, we are saving in this way we are in the daily quote we are saving the daily quote formatted in this format and the last element I'm doing if you go here you can see here that there is there are some nice emojis and you can change this emoji for each of the of the records uh, if you do not choose this emoji here, you can see it here and there is an option uh, in the Notion node to add an emoji. So you just basically add an option emoji and you choose the emoji which you would like to put. I'll put the sun because it's the morning more reflection. And as a result, once the new record is created, it doesn't only say that it's daily refl reflection 0721, but it also adds the uh, emoji symbol. And uh, I'm not doing anything about status here, so I'm not saying I'm not say, setting the status uh, field because the status field is here uh, set by default. I it defaults to empty only when I fill in the daily description. I can press here, I press completed, and then we we for ourselves know that it's completed. Once again, uh, an amazing uh, option to view this is in the feed for in the feed view. Uh, Notion gives you this opportunity, so you're not looking at it in the table format. You look at it at, in the feed format, and you can see all your daily reflection presented in a such a nice way. And the last element of uh, which we are um, doing in an attend workflow is actually sending a message to Telegram. So how we are doing it? We are doing it in the following way. If we go to morning, morning, uh, morning message, so it's a, just a Telegram uh, Telegram note. In this Telegram note, we are saying that we are sending the message uh, to the group with the chat ID, and this is the number of chat ID. Uh, by the way, in this tutorial, I'm not uh, I'm not showing you how to get this chat ID, but in the more detailed tutorial, which will be also linked uh, here you'll be able uh, to see how we're getting the chat ID so that we can later reutilize re it here. This chat ID just indicates that Telegram uh, bot will be sending a message into the group with this chat ID. And the message you see here, uh, in the uh, which we already sent, it's the first the quote with the author, then uh, the phrase, your daily reflection is here, and then the link itself. It's all constructed in the following way. You can see it here. So first, we are constructed in a way uh, with a quote uh, as very similar to uh, the thing which, which we did with the Notion database when we were saving the quote. Then the word your daily reflection is here and then json.url it's actually the URL of the page which was created on the previous step. So before when we were creating Notion uh, page here as once when it was created uh, there was an output uh, which Notion sent to an attend and we can have it here and reuse it on the next node and this output 
contains the URL of this record which has just been created. So the only thing we need to do when if we would like to send in Telegram the exact uh, URL of this record, what we just need to do, we need to find uh, it here. This is the, so you can see these are all the nodes before this node and create a new page is the node which has just been executed. And then here you can see that there is a URL field. So the only thing you do, you just need to drag it here and it will be pasted in, in this format json dot uh, dollar sign json dot url and uh, it's going to be the url of this page the workflow is quite powerful and i think if you use it you will be uh, you'll really be able to modify it according to your needs and your mornings will become more and more productive and let's just once again see everything how it works let's go back to our daily reflection as you can see here in this table form we have just three uh, of the uh, of the records let's let's put all of them to the status completed then we're having our telegram now there is just one message and let's imagine that it's 5 a.m and in the morning uh, the workflow starts uh, this will happen i'll press test workflow and as you can see there is a message which we received in telegram with a quote from franklin roosevelt uh, the only limit to our realization of tomorrow will be our doubts of today if we go to Notion, we can see that there is this quote of Roosevelt created today. Daily Reflection is named Daily Reflection 0721 and the status is empty. Once we type our Daily Reflection, something here, we reflect about the day, then we can change the status to completed and the work is done. So that's the idea. One workflow connects Notion, OpenAI and Telegram to help you start every day with reflection and purpose automatically. If you want to build this exact automation step by step, I've created a full detailed tutorial. You'll find the link in the description and it should also appear on top of this video. You can also download the workflow, ask questions or share your version in my free school community and also in the Telegram channel. Both links are provided in the description. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. I would appreciate if you like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.